that's basically the limit of how how far I'll be able to move my head forward. So don't snap my neck, basically. <laughs> this is how you attach a Hans device to your racing helmet. Now Hans devices are essential safety equipment for racing. Specifically when you get in an accident, these straps attach to, they attach to these points on the back of your helmet, right here. That way, when your neck goes forward or your head moves very far forward in a crash, your neck will only move so far forward because there will be posts attached to these points. Now this is the basic hardware that comes with the device. Um, it's just a wrench and the mount mounting points, as well as the tools to install and tighten. If you're shopping for a helmet, I would strongly recommend buying a helmet that has the post mounting points installed when you buy them. My uh, GeForce Carbon CF3 helmet review, you'll see that the helmet already comes with the post mounts installed already into the helmet, so you don't have to do any drilling or mounting of new hardware. You just have to essentially install the mounting points that come with it, come with the Hans device. If you have a helmet that already has these mounting points installed from the manufacturer, you will not need this last backing plate, the silver plate. So you got your plate that goes against the helmet, spring washer, the metal plate, then followed by the collar, and the screw. And the plate that would normally go behind and underneath underneath the shell of the helmet and which you would need to drill a hole for. But since this piece is essentially replaced by the threads in here, we just need this. You kind of just take this assembly and begin screwing it in. Now, before you go too tight, you want to use this tool here as shown in the picture slides underneath here. You want it to be facing rearward towards the back of the helmet as you tighten this washer. So I'll try to demonstrate that. Hopefully I can successfully do this. Tighten screw one quarter turn beyond snug. I believe it's pretty snug. Um, I don't want to over tighten this because I really don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin the threads. I don't want to ruin the hardware that's built into the helmet. Uh, last thing I want for something like that to happen. So I put it as pretty snug and I'm going to leave it as that. I seem to be having a little bit of a weird issue. Okay. Feels like it's not quite uniform in how the how the spring washer kind of clicks. I can't push in the forward side as easy as the back side. Like that moves a lot. This moves very little. I might need to make some adjustments. So, there you go. To undo, slide forward. I like to go finger tight first, just to make sure it's threading in properly. So 
So I've actually been going back and forth a little bit um, on whether or not I bought the right size Hans device. I bought uh, medium, the Hans Sport 3 medium. And I have my Sparco suit on. So what you wanna do, take your Hans device. Uh, it's going to be tighter around this end than it is actual neck. So it's not super comfortable when you first put it on. But once you have it on, it should be fine. Um, I think mine is in fact the right size. Um, again, you're gonna be kind of sitting down and this, and your uh, harness, your racing harness will be holding this against your chest. That's the idea at least, your chest and shoulders. So it's kind of going to be seated a little bit down and back when it's actually in the car. Gotta push up a little bit, I guess. So when your harness is against your neck or your chest and shoulders, you'll be pushing down so you can only move your head so far forward. Like that. That's basically the limit of how, how far I'll be able to move my head forward. So don't snap my neck, basically. <laughs> It's a little hot today, so sweating. And so that's how you install the Hans device hardware. Pretty straightforward. Still getting used to the clipping mechanism, as you can tell, but I think I'll get used to it over time. You'll need to use the Allen wrench and this aligner tool, um, regardless of what helmet you choose but if you already have the pre-installed post mounts or post hardware into your helmet, you already have the holes for the posts, then you won't need uh, this, you know, this wrench. You won't need this wrench and you won't need these backing plates which would go onto the inside of the helmet. This is just a tool to tighten these down. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate any views, uh, thumbs ups, comments, questions you may have about anything, any product that I've reviewed or this helmet and the Hans device. Um, it all seems to be really good equipment so far. Anything that I've reviewed, I think I've recommended because it all seems really good, especially for the price that I've been buying them for. Um, so please subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. I'm gonna be posting hopefully on a weekly basis. Uh, keep keep everybody up to date on what I've been doing in terms of my car passion and getting into racing, um, as well as sim racing. So you can follow me on Twitch as well at twitch.tv slash Ryan Shable. Um, I'll put the link here and please go ahead and follow me. It really helps me grow. <laughs> it really helps me grow to the more followers I have. That way I know, you know, what you guys do and don't like, what I should do more of, what I should do less of. Any suggestions are openly welcomed. Please, any feedback is appreciated. See you guys out there. Thanks for watching.